Hello and welcome. My name is Ojay Skaria. You are watching Mind Power Tools. This is a platform for learning psychology. Today, we are going to discuss about one of the motivational theory in psychology. It was introduced by an American psychologist, Abraham Maslow. His theory known as Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. It is based on human needs. It comprises five tier level of human needs. One level of need fulfilled or satisfied, then search for another level. Maslow said that we have needs that need to be fulfilled in a specific order. It has to start from the bottom of the pyramid all the way to the top. Five levels are there. The first one is physiological needs that will come on the bottom this is the basic base one so we have to fulfill the first one then we have to go the next one so uh, physiological needs means it's a biological one you know the hunger taste shelter sleep etc come under this uh, physiological needs uh, what maslow says if we don't complete or if we don't fulfill the base one then we cannot go for the next one because uh, this is the fundamental things a human being has to fulfill. All other, other needs become secondary until these needs are met. These are basic level, as, as I said. If you are satisfied with this, then go for the next level. The second one is safety needs. Safety needs means it's for security and safety. We need safety and security in our health, in our job, in all our uh, level of life. We need two types of protection. Uh, one is physical protection and the other one is emotional protection. So the second level includes the security and the safety things. The third one is social needs. Once we complete, once we gain the base two one, that is physiological needs and the safety, uh, then it will come the third one, social needs. Social needs, it's, it's coming uh, like affection, belongingness, acceptance and friendship. The feelings of belongingness, you know, example friendship, intimacy, trust, acceptance, receiving and giving affection and love, this all coming uh, under the third level, that is social needs. The fourth one is esteem needs. Maslow divides this fourth esteem needs into two categories. The first one is esteem for oneself. That means dignity, mastery, achievement, you know, independence, like that. The second category is the desire for a reputation or respect from others, like that. The fifth one is self-actualization. Self-actualization means achieving one's potential, you know, one's life goal, achieving the life goal. That, that's called self-actualization. The first two needs are lower order needs and the other three needs are called higher order needs. Now let us just discuss the merits or advantages or the plus point of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The first advantages or the first merits of Maslow's hierarchy of needs is widely used by the business managers, managers in general. So this is widely used by managers, that is the first point. Uh, second point we can say like it contains a sound logic you know and the third one everybody can understand this is easy to understand these are the three advantages or the merits of or pros of Mar Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs theory now let us discuss the disadvantages or demerits or the minus points of uh, Maslow's theory the first one is there is no validation of the model because Maslow looked at the biographies or writings of 18 eminent personalities and he identified this personalities as self-actualized and the method is extremely subjective as it is uh, based entirely on the opinion of the researcher. So uh, we cannot tell it is a valid one. The second demerit is the model assumed, assumed that pupils uh, always 
present on one level uh, that need not be in all situation because needs operate on many levels simultaneously but maslow says one level complete or attain the satisfaction then go for another level but it, in practical it may not be the case that is the second demerits then coming the third demerits uh, it's his assumption that you know the lower level needs must be satisfied before a person can achieve a self actualization uh, many creative people such as others and artists you know they lived in their poverty and throughout their lifetime they achieved their life goal they got self actualized so uh, these are this is the third disadvantage third, third demerits if you are new to this channel please subscribe it hit the bell icon